Eat shit, Philly. Penguins win 4-3 and 2-1 in the series against the Philadelphia Flyers this week. Good, solid game overall. Some areas that definitely need to be worked on, especially defensively in front of the net. But let's go over the lines for this one. We got two players that return in this one. Both Evan Rodriguez and Brian Dumoulin return in this game. Dumoulin, I cannot express how important he is to this team. I know um, a couple PFRs ago, I, I thought about, you know, potentially trading him. I also wrote about that in Pittsburgh Sports Castle. I don't want that to happen, um, but I do think the Penguins still have a, a expendable defenseman. And then we'll talk about him later, who I think it is. Um, Evan Rodriguez also comes back. He gets on the fourth line. Colton Sevier's out with COVID protocol. Oh, no, it's the end of the world. Um, and, yeah, pretty much the same top six. Jared McCann's still on that second line, and he's proven me wrong, proven that he is a top six player, hopefully, you know, permanently in the NHL. Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin, not the best in terms of their performances as of late. Um, they both only entering this game had one five-on-five -five goal and were in what? Game like 22 or something like that that's you know not cutting it um malkin gets on the board a couple of times tonight crosby had two assists i believe um but still i mean you know those are your star players now this is going to be a real quick pfr i gotta get going i want to just you know enjoy the weather here today in, in pittsburgh um but i thought just quick quick game recap for me i thought marcus Pedersen looked fucking terrible tonight today three penalties was nowhere to be seen in the one goal the Penguins are terrible boxing out in front of the net. Bring back Jamie Oleksiak. I started tweeting during the second period because I thought it would be funny. Um, you know, we need a sizable defenseman. Not even just a sizable defenseman. A sizable player that can push guys out in front of the net. It's ridiculous. What goal was it? Um, the Kevin Hayes goal that tied things up on the power play. He... Nolan Patrick was standing right in front of Tristan Jari. It was a perfect, you know, screen. There was no one in front to get him out of the way. Hopefully that improves with Brian Dumoulin back. The Penguins were pretty good on special teams. They got two power play goals tonight, and their penalty kill was, you know, pretty good tonight. Um, and Dumoulin is a big pa uh, impact with that penalty kill. Um, and then also, as I just mentioned, the Penguins got two power play goals tonight. Um, today. God, matinee games are much different. Um, Malkin. His fifth of the year was a wraparound goal. It was pretty nice. And then Brian Rust finished off a, a Sailor's passing play. In the third period, I thought the Penguins played their best period. They had a good, strong, you know, hard um, hitting period where, you know, they controlled the majority of play. I thought we also played great defensively um, when, you know, we got the go-ahead goal um, from McCann. That Zach Aston Reese goal where he just shot it on net and just hoped for the best. That's the, that's, those are the type of plays that you just need to have, um, whether it's luck or whether it's just throwing pucks on net and seeing, seeing what happens. That was great. McCann as well. Um, great goal from him. He's got three goals in his last five games um, and then two assists on top of that, I think. That's, you know, everything you could ask from him. Hopefully he is the top six player on this team. My three stars of the night, Malkin, Rust, and McCann. Um, and that's essentially, you know, the majority of the, the players that were on the score sheet tonight. Really, really impressed with McCann tonight. On the left side, um, kind of my exercise of the night is uh, every, you know, because this is the third straight game we've played the Flyers, I put every draft pick that Ron Hextall has drafted, um, notable ones um, that are playing within the Flyers organization or about to, you know, pave ways in the Flyers organization. Travis Sanheim, uh, Nicholas Abe Kubel, Mark Friedman, he's ours now. Oscar Lindblom, Ivan Provorov, and Travis Konechny, both in 2015. Uh, German Rupstov, who's not in the NHL yet, but he's, you know, a, a first-round pick. Uh, Carter Hart, of course, Nolan Patrick, Morgan Frost, and Joel Farabee, man. The reason why I put these up and the reason why, like, I honestly feel comfortable complimenting these players is because, you know, Ron Hextall drafted them, and now he's on our side. So I put a hypothetical never-going-to-happen situation here. What would happen if you put these players or just a player that was similar to them on the Penguins team right now? How much different would this team look? And I'm not saying those exact players would be here uh, if Hextall was our general manager, but um, 
Could you imagine a second line of Zucker, Malkin, and a player like Konechny? It wouldn't obviously be him. And then third line of Farabee, McCann, Kapanen, Lindblom, Bluger, Tanev, your fourth line, getting guys like Sanheim, Provorov on the D, and then Carter Hart. My question for you, my PFR question for you, is do you want Hextall to try and acquire more draft picks because he's so good at drafting? Um, but, yeah, again, this is a pretty pretty quick one here. Very happy with the Penguins game today, also because it was just a pretty entertaining game. Some about matinee games that I always find them much more entertaining. Final score, 4-3 um, in this one. I'll catch you guys all in the next PFR.